Hello, I'm Doug Caldwell with the University of Florida IFAS Extension, Collier County. Some call me Dr. Doug Bug. We're at the Naples Zoo today and we're looking at damage caused by four, no, not four, like it, six legged critters. It's the evil weevil. And here's some of its work. So this is a brachychitin leaf chewed up by these little guys. Of course the weevil isn't evil, but we're going to look at the severe damage it can do in your landscape. One of the most frequent questions we get at our plant clinics by far is what is chewing up these leaves? The first possibility that comes to mind is looks like caterpillar chewing, but we can rule out caterpillars as we know they don't feed on many of these various plant species. So what else could it be? Because we have current University of Florida research information from Dr. Catherine Mannion and other researchers, it's easy enough to narrow it down to a recent invader. It is the Sri Lanka weevil. What is a weevil, you may ask? Weevils are in the beetle family and characterized by an extended snout with the mandibles, teeth in human terms, at the tip of the snout. Sri Lanka weevil adults are about one quarter inch long with varied patterns of white gray background and gray black spots. And where are they from? Surprise! They're from Sri Lanka or southern India. Established populations were found in South Florida in the year 2000 to 2001. They are unusual in that most weevils feed in the night, but these, maybe they're not so smart, but they feed during the day, making them easier to spot. They will, in typical weevil fashion, drop to the ground when disturbed, or some will actually take off and fly away, which again is unusual in that many weevil species cannot fly. This weevil isn't too picky of an eater. It will munch down on at least 70 different plant species. Some of its favorites include citrus, lychee, loquat, mango, black olive or busida, Hong Kong orchid tree, red silk cotton or bombax seba, buttonwood, cocoa plum, even pygmy date palm, and this invasive ear leaf acacia. The adults deposit eggs in the soil. Each weevil can produce 360 eggs and new adults appear, this is critical, new adults appear in as short a period as one to two months all year long. Thus we have repeating generations with new weevils popping up throughout the year. This makes control or management difficult. Larvae hatch and chew on roots then pupate in the soil. However, the weevil larvae have been difficult to locate, so hopefully they aren't doing much damage. What to do? These annoying leaf-nibbling weevils cause little long-term damage. Usually it is just aesthetic or cosmetic type damage. Few of these plants sustain significant injury, but I have seen small lychee trees almost denuded by these weevils. One approach to monitoring or even catching the Sri Lanka weevil is the old bumper shoot. Get the umbrella out, shake them off, and see what's there. Another approach is to knock the little guys into a bucket, or even better, a nice bucket filled with soapy water. And they don't fly away, and they have a little happy bubble bath down the drain you may want to consider pesticides to protect your fruit trees. Some of the pesticides that looked like they may knock the weevils down, remember these are like little tanks, they're very hard to control, include pyrethroids. Make sure you read the label, the label is law. Make sure you can spray fruit trees and make sure you follow the label directions. Otherwise you may have some negative consequences on beneficial insects as well as our water resources. And remember, you can always go get two bricks. So today we learned what the Sri Lanka weevil can do to your landscape plants. Is it a big deal? Not really in South Florida. We have a long growing season, 
plants can grow out of it. This is Doug Caldwell signing off, trying to help you beautify your landscape and protect the environment.